National governments have taken strong measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus in the European Union. This is necessary. But some of these measures have stopped people at the borders. At certain borders, we have dozens of kilometers of traffic jams and more than 24 hours of waiting time. Many European citizens are still unable to travel back home. And trucks carrying medicine, essential and perishable goods, such as food, are blocked. It is important to solve this now, right at the beginning of the crisis. And that's why I follow the situation closely, including thanks to satellite images from Copernicus. I had several talks with national governments addressing this topic. And there are already some good developments. Last weekend, we had a huge traffic jam at the Slovenian-Croatian border. Now traffic is much more fluid there. People are now able to reach their homes. The lorries stranded in Slovenia could continue to their destination. This is a good example on how neighboring countries can find pragmatic solutions. We also had long traffic jams at the borders between Poland, the Czech Republic, Germany and Lithuania. We worked on it. People coming from the Baltic states can now return home to Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. And traffic for lorries is getting better too. But we still have problems at some borders. Yesterday, we still had more than 20 kilometers of jams at the border between Hungary and Romania. We need to find a solution there too. Many Romanians and Bulgarians still wait to get home. And the trucks loaded with goods must continue their route. I hope tomorrow we will see a better situation at this border too.